Now, the National Assembly is set to hold another special sitting tomorrow morning as the government makes a second attempt to have the law on elections and campaign financing amended after yesterday's session ended in disarray. Now, in a bid to ensure the amendments are expected are effected rather by all means, President Uhuru Kenyatta had on Wednesday convened a Jubilee Party parliamentary meeting at State House to map out a new strategy after his troops were outwitted by opposition MPs. However, its Deputy President William Ruto, who is reported to have led the PG meeting after the President spent the entire day outside Nairobi, here's Duncan Hayamba with more. <laughs> After failing spectacularly on Tuesday to push for two crucial amendments on electoral laws, the ruling Jubilee Wing, which is the majority party in parliament, is plotting around two of the special seating. By the time the Tuesday session was flopping, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, had already published a gazetted notice to have the National Assembly reconvene for yet another special sitting on Thursday from 9.30 a.m. To avoid a similar fiasco, the Thursday sitting has been gazetted to run until midnight, implying members will have to square it out entire day or till late into the night, should need be. On Tuesday, the government had employed nearly all tricks in the book, only to be beaten hands down by a vigilant and lean opposition squad. From the onset, all members of parliament were ordered to alight from their vehicles at the Intercontinental Hotel and Parliament Road roundabout and walk to the National Assembly. This was aimed to ensure only MPs walk to parliament, minus their security detail, personal assistance and drivers so as to ensure a very limited number of persons within the precincts of parliament. <laughs> to return the frustration, a section of opposition MPs blocked the speaker from entering into the chambers as they targeted the mess, forcing the speaker to retreat and convene a two-hour kamkunji with the MPs. Within parliament, the network was jammed and communication was on and off, whose aim was to ensure MPs don't communicate to their principals outside parliament. This saw a section of senators led by Moses Wetangula, James Orengo, Boni Halwale and Mike Sonko move right to the entrance into the chambers to monitor goings on. As usual, as soon as the shouting match began, Parliamentary Broadcast Unit live transmission was taken off air, leaving both the public and parliamentary journalists in darkness only to see the speaker exit the chamber surrounded by the orderlies. As code MPs followed behind chanting. <laughs> Claims of MPs engaging in a scaffold emerged as well. We were having discussions with Honorable Ngunjiri. From nowhere, Esther just came and I felt a spray like tear gas or pepper in my two eyes and face. So now I'm crying, take me to water, I'm dying. And the members like Waititu are holding me there to suffer more. That is very bad. I want the speaker, I've gone to his office to complain. I informed him in the house when I was in tears. I want the speaker to take, uh, you know, sanctions and measures uh, on that lady. Details from Wednesday's Jubilee Parliamentary Group meeting at State House remain scanty, but word has it that MPs are under strict instructions to ensure the amendments are effected and have been directed to employ a man-to-man -man marking of code MPs. However, the opposition has declared okay. it's no retreat, no surrender. Our resolve to resist this provocation, our resolve to resist this flawed, unlawful and unconstitutional process has not changed. Court says the issue is not about the amendment, but the procedure, claiming it's government-sponsored backdoor amendment. Our desire for dialogue is not born out of weakness, it's born out of patriotism. That they are not interested in it, will also play their game and will take the ball to their court. 
and we are waiting for them tomorrow. The president has since responded to Mbita member of parliament Milio Diambo over her attacks on him at parliament. <laughs> The Thursday special sitting is expected to degenerate into chaos as MPs continue from where they left on Tuesday night. Honorable members, Duncan Hemba, KTN.